a very good morning to all of you so uh, we have seen so many encoding techniques like one hot encoding categorical encoding uh, that is to convert the categorical data to the numerical data uh, one hot encoding is there label encoding is there mapping function is there replace function is there so many things are there so uh, a new thing we learn today that is binary encoding so binary encoding is also a type of encoding technique that will help us to convert the categorical features into the numerical features okay so what happens in binary encoding first the categories are converted into numbers so if you have category 1 category 2 and category 3 so it will assign a number to each category so for example category 1 is given the number 1 category 2 is given the number 2 and category 3 is given the number 3 okay so after giving the number these number are converted into binary columns binary codes so for example 1 will be written as 001 as we know that binary form of 1 is 001 then 2 will be written as 0 1 0 and 3 will be written as 0 1 1 because 0 1 1 represents the binary form for 3 okay so it will create the three columns one column with uh, first uh, first number second column and third column like that it will create three extra columns to convert the categorical feature into numerical feature okay so to explain this we have taken one data set that is a uh, inbuilt data in seaborn library okay so for that we have taken a tips data set under the seaborn library so this is the data set so uh, data set explains like uh, based on the uh, column sets smoker day time size of the family and the total bill we have to find out how much tip a person will pay to the waiter okay so this is the data set so to encode it see we have so many categorical features in this this column sex column smoker column day column and time column these all are the categorical features so to encode this we will install the uh, category encoder so we will uh, uh, install it using pip install category underscore encoders once it is get installed you have to import it using import category encoders as ce so after import we will see uh, which column we have to uh, change the categorical feature to uh, numerical feature so we have selected the day column so we'll see how many categories are there so it have four categories sunday saturday thursday and thursday uh, friday okay so we have four categories so how it will work now it will assign it will take each and every category so it will assign sunday number 1 uh, saturday as 2 thursday as 3 and friday as 4 okay then it will convert this number to their respective binary form okay so after uh, importing the category encoders we have to create the object so ce dot binary encoder you have to select the column which column you wanted to encode okay so create a object encoder after creating the objects uh, we will fit transform it we'll uh, 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 write the object that is encoder dot fit underscore transform we'll pass the data, uh, data frame okay then see that here the day column got uh, created it changed into three columns so day 0 day 1 and day 2 so we can see that sunday is applied 0 0 1 thursday is given 011 that is 3 and saturday is given 010 that is 2 right so we have seen that how the day column is converted into numerical data okay so see here when we'll call this encoder we can see that 1 is assigned 001 2 is assigned 010 3 is assigned 011 and 4 is assigned 100 okay so binary encoding is a very good technique when a high very high number of categories are present in any column as we can see that if you have 100 features okay uh, so if uh, sorry not 100 features if you have seven features uh, it if you have many categories so uh, uh, with if you will use one hot encoding it will create many number of features 
instead of that if we will use binary encoding number of features will be less okay so we can deal with the high dimensionality problem in uh, using binary encoder so this is all about binary encoder uh bye bye